Hi guys, this tutorial will be very useful for product photographers and retouchers and exactly how to make a big improves to our product images with the new generative view in Photoshop. Stay with me and I'll show you. I picked several images from pexel.com, links in the description. And let's start with the first one. And let's make this perfume way more fancy. Okay, first let's crop the image to the desired position. Let's say uh, one by one cropped, something like this, maybe a little bit more. Okay. Now let's select the subject. In our case, the perfume. You can use the object selection tool or the new select subject. Let's click on the select subject. Good. But now we, <laughs> the selection is not perfect. We have to repair the selection. I'll be not so accurate. I want to show you the method. Okay, almost done. Good. Of course, you can use the pen tool and select it manually. Now let's invert the selection. Right click, select inverse. And let's click generative fill button. Let's describe what we want. Let's say drop the perfume on the milk. Let's see. Wait a little bit. Let's see. Let's try with the new generate. Okay. And this is perfect. Okay. I think <laughs> we got the first one. Let's see before and after. Now our product looks way more fancy and our clients will be very happy. Okay. Let's move to the second example. Here we have another perfume. Again, we have to select the subject. Now I'll try the object selection tool. I think it's good. Let's zoom a little bit. Maybe a little correction here. Okay, I think it's good. Let's invert the selection again. Right click, select inverse. Now let's click on the generate fill button again and let's describe our wish. Maybe put on the on beach sands with rocks. Let's see. And this is good. Let's see a little bit more. Let's click generate again. Okay. I think this is very good. Let's see the second one. No. Okay. This is also very good. I like it. I like this one. It's perfect. Let's move to the third example. And here we have a black, black object, perfume again, but also the background is black and um, object selection tool will be not so accurate. That's why in this case, I'll make the selection manual with the pen tool. I'll increase the speed a little bit because it's too boring. And our selection is done. 
Let's invert the selection again. Good. Click generative fill. And let's type a little bit complex. Maybe something like um, wet surface with uh, raindrops and uh, spot white behind the perfume. Let's see. Very good. I like it. Let's see the second one. Perfect. And the third one. This is also very good. Okay. Of course, we can crop the image a little bit. Maybe something like this. And perfect. Let's see. Before and after. The second one before and after and the first one let's remove the crop tool before and after generative view is very good for product images can save you a lot of time and can make your images look way more better i hope you like the video subscribe with the bell for more videos and see you soon